Oh. Direct quote, though, on his, uh, you see it, our teams are now embedded in governments around the world. That's actually what they wrote. Yeah. And the video is two minutes. I didn't play all of it. It's what he says. But what he's saying there sounds reasonable. Yeah. Figuring out on strategic ways to end the lockdown is. easily. No, that makes the, sense. Not the end of the lockdown. No, no, no. Well, no. Didn't he say that? Yeah. Keep in mind, Tony Blair is the one who's been advocating for vaccine passports, digital identification through COVID, and all of these measures. But didn't they say that about ending the lockdowns and keeping businesses? Once those measures are in place. Right. So he's even in the UK, his stance has been, yeah, we're going to get out of all it, but you have to have digital ID mm. and you have to have. So, so during and the war, this is going to introduce the, t the, the social set. credit score system. Right. So the, what, all of that came from your question, which is regardless of intention, how do people how do people do that infiltration from within? It's not just Twitter. So back to the psychological operations. It's also embedding people in government who are subscribed to this agenda. Yeah. And the agenda of Klaus Schwab and the World Economic Forum is the same as the agenda of Tony Blair in this regard. They call it on their own website. They call it the Great Reset. That's what they say themselves. Yeah, that's a bizarre thing to do to yeah. openly. Why do you think they openly discuss it that way? And openly, because the Great Reset has always been this gigantic conspiracy theory yeah, yeah. among the online folks. Yeah. Like, this is all part of the Great Reset. Well, yeah. when he wrote a fucking book called The Great Reset, you're yeah. like, hey, man, yeah. shouldn't you be hiding this? And, and, and in 2017 at Harvard, he's saying, you know, we're going to basically, all of these world leaders will penetrate their cabinets with our young global leaders. He's open. About this. He's open. Blair's open. During the Iraq war, Blair tried to bring in ID cards in Britain. He failed. Now he's back and he's trying to bring in digital ID during COVID. Right. So they're open about it. So this is going to be this never ending process to slowly move the goalposts towards more and more authoritarianism. Checkpoint society. It's all there. They, you, they how, told us this. We ha people have mm. to realize this, right? This is important. 